So it's BBC Pigeon. We're hoping that you can speak a bit of Pigeon in English. Oh, where you're not it's a guy who is speaking Pigeon. Okay, okay, great. I'll try. All right. So um, welcome to BBC Pigeon. One of the major uh, issues we hurt you mostly for 2016, the corruption. Always the opposition, they talk about corruption and things. Um, in terms of what has happened in the last four years in this government, how you go feel also talk about the performance or how this government managed issues related to corruption. But first of all, how do you present yourself? How do you present yourself to the Ghanaian now who already get that perception, say, the Mahama administration get corruption issues? What will be different this time around? I should say we, we stand vindicated because if you look how we leave office, you know, no direct political appointee of mine, political appointee like minister or anybody, they convict them for corruption. After all the things they say, all the lies they talk and things, maybe we they sit here. No conviction. Like we steal money or something. By now, several of us they inside. Of course, some chief executives and things, you, get a you know, board issue and, and, this and, and things like that, you know, but those really no be direct political appointments, you know, like ministers, then, you know, the, the Makana people. But if you look this far, for the last four years, maybe the presenting political appointees, you know, uh, presidential staffers, this uh, Galamse issue, maybe presidential staffers, ministers, their names all come inside, you know, aside from that. If you look, PDS scandal, maybe the president, in, in, in my relatives and things, all them names come inside and all that. You look at Japan, you know, very damning uh, report where the Office of Special Prosecutor gave. So if you see, say, now Ghanaians shock too much with the corruption under this government. So now they make like, they make numb. Nothing can shock them anymore, you understand? Because this government reached the, 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 the uh, ceiling of corruption. And so now, anything new come, Ghanaians, they take and say, like, ah, it'd be so easy, you know, if you do anything about them. But if you do something about them, you know, the time I day office, you know, I make, I'm clear, say, any person who indulge in corruption, make them, I invest, investigate them. And if you make culpable, make the, the trial. We sack National Service Officers, 110 of them. We put 34 of them before court. GDA, we cancel them contracts. We make um, uh, uh, comp some company refund money to government, 50 million Ghana cities, you know. Um, we, one of our MPs day prison, as they talk, we, we prosecute them during our time. We, as they talk, a day prison today. But this president, in any allegation of corruption they bring, then you go sweep them under the carpet, you know. Listen the thing the special prosecutor talk, say, they investigate something finished. The president say make a shelf the report, make you know bring the report out. Because now the report they indict in relatives, the people way close to them, you know. So as for now the corruption there it, it grow wings, it they fly. Given the sixteen regions where we get now, um, you get six new ones where people we don't really understand the dynamics of how they vote and things. You go around these regions. What be the polls you pick up from, from these places? And what will be your expectation in terms of how many you will take up in the election? Oh, the response will be very good. You, you, they talk about the new regions. The new regions. No, the response will be very good. The response will be very good. And some of uh, those regions self be our regions already, be place where the people they vote for us. And so uh, I, I shall say. So out of uh, the six, you will stick your neck out and say you will pick how many? Oh, um, overall, if you take about. Four, four, yeah, at least, I think we'll go win Savannah, we'll go win Northern, you understand, we'll go win Western North, yeah, we we'll go win Bono East, you know, even Bono South, it, we, it's possible, say, we, we'll go fit win Bono, so I should say we'll go take up about four, maybe five even. We hear say they say your campaign fall inside water, your direct um, opponents, Nana, we say your campaign fall inside water, so riders, it belies the deceit, the promises, the know that. How do you react to that? Uh, but what do you expect, say, you go say? <laughs> you, you get opponent, you go say your campaign, they fly. You no get message. You no get message. The message, we say, you build the economy. Which economy? You sustain the economy. With this the economy collapse. 80% debt to GDP be economy where they survive. Deficit 18%. It'd be the worst economy in the history of the Fourth Republic. Coronavirus come inside. It can't mess things Oh, up. no, no. The economy mess up before coronavirus come. 
uh, coronavirus, you know, go Cote d'Ivoire. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So Cote d'Ivoire, they do 80% debt to GDP. Cote d'Ivoire, them deficit be 18%. If the economy be so good like you talk, why are economy day in shambles? Cote d'Ivoire, them economy, they survive. Other countries, them economy, they survive. They all know be the same coronavirus. This um, uh, 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 government, Nana Akubadu government, it be talk, 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 propaganda, that's all. And then they, they take close people them eye, them eye, you know, use the media, say, oh, things have not been, uh, have never been so good. Meanwhile, the people, they suffer. You go to the ground sea. I guess they come from the rural areas. Go see how people, they suffer. Life hard, you know. Maybe the president and people, they, they set life good for them. So how do they see them life? They think they be so everybody, they enjoy. On Monday, uh, December 7, why the Ghanaian for select you? Because we get track record. Ghanaians see us in 2016. Make Ghanaians compare them life in 2016 to today. See which one better. Everywhere I go, I ask them. They say, oh, 2016, our life better. They do opinion poll. More than 60% of Ghanaians say their life will make worse today than it was in 2016. And so we get a track record. Social and economic infrastructure. We pull light, give them. We give people drinking, good drinking water. We do their roads. We build hospitals. We build schools. The work we do, you, they take your IC. This government, they put delivery tra trackers. So, so toilet, 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 toilet. Toilet with district assembly, them work. Why uh, national government, you they tell people what you do, then toilet. Toilet with district assembly, that one we know, we know they count them. So they don't build single secondary school where they complete. They don't build single hospital in four years where they complete. Every government from Kufour, Rawlings, everybody, build secondary school or uh, hospital. They do not do oneself. Electricity access go up by only 3% under them. Lowest in the history of the Fourth Republic. Water access no go up crap. Water access even they come down. By the time we leave, people will get access to clean drinking water be 76%. Now that number reduced, it they come closer to 70%. You know, then they say free water. You know, free water, you know they pay Ghana Water Company for producing the water. So, so, so they, they cut cut people because they know fit afford to produce the water. You say free electricity, you know they pay electricity company. So electricity company now, small, small, then they put somebody in light of, they put, because they don't fit, pay the generating companies. Mm -hmm. Then you say you manage the economy well. You get your cousin, your cousin for finance ministry, you all you know, they say they borrow money. Every t little thing, then you go bond market, go borrow three billion. Because in company, they make profit from the, the borrowing. This economy be the worst in the fourth republic. Okay. Finally, um, Ghanaians go ask themselves two questions. If them both give John Mahama, this will be the return of Dumso or it will be different John Mahama. What be the different John Mahama way them will experience? Or if you do so, then we'll see. If you talk into them. Oh. Dumso, we saw Dumso a long time. Dumso, no day on the cards again. 2016, we no do power rationing. You, now you did Ghana. You did remember. 2016, they take your light. 2016, we no do power rationing. The Dumso now will be two things. It be generation, then financing. Generation will bring car power ship, will bring Ameri plants. Those two plants, they make up the generation, the generation shortfall. So now with that time, we they produce enough electricity for everybody. We don't get shortfall anymore. Then it remain financing. Financing will bring Energy Sector Levy Act, ESLA, to generate more revenues to pay the debt. We bring the Energy Sector Levy Act. These people say they don't go agree. We'll be wicked people. When they come, they go remove ESLA. Today, with the ESLA, they, they take money, pay the electricity companies to bring down the debt. So how you go say, if I come, Doomsaw will come back. I resolve the Doomsaw financially and generationally. We are hand over give this administration. So why Doomsaw will come back? Just that day, they, they mismanage them. So the debt will for come down. Now they accumulate debt of $1.5 billion to independent power producers. You know, see some letter where the IPP say, if government no pay them, they go shut off. They are, they are generate, generation plants. You know, yeah. but like I talk, this government, they feed do propaganda well, 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 well. And so you yourself, you think, say, if your mama come back, do so go come. Baby, so you ask me that question. Maybe the people they talk on the ground. Maybe the MPP they talk. Okay. So finally, your message to the Ghanaian on December 7, in 30 seconds. Oh, I talk already. I say we get the track record. Ghanaians see us before. Since we leave office, Ghanaians, their life make worse. The economy make worse. The economy, they I see you, I talk to you. 
in the ICU. Economy, uh, finance minister, they cook the books. The big liability items like financial sector clean out, energy sector debt, you know, they add into the budget. So you go say, oh, we get 4 point something percent deficit. It they lie. The deficit be almost 18 percent today. Because, you know, they add the real figures. Now the real figures come. It's always be because of coronavirus. Because of coronavirus. Economy was strong. Then suddenly, six months of coronavirus, then economy day intensive care. It means they not some whole day, they already waited, they hide. You know, so we've done it before. We feel do them again. And we get manifesto where the people themselves, they contribute where we do the manifesto. And if you look the programs we will get in that manifesto, it will make the life of Ghanaians better. Thank you very much, John.